Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you will enjoy this project so much that at the end you will click that subscribe button and uh, become my subscriber. And to all my subscribers, thank you so much guys. You are the best. Thank you for coming out every week and watch the videos and share your projects with me. You are the absolute best. Well, with that being said, Let's get started on today's project. And today we are going to make this pendant. A few weeks ago, we did Makumegin uh, project and I said that it would be really, really awesome to do it with Skinner Blend. So today we're going to make Skinner Blend and then turn it into this gorgeous pendant. So if you have not done Skinner Blend or if you have not seen any of my previous videos, I am horrible at Skinner Blends, but I love them. So just because I'm bad at it, it's not gonna stop me from making more and more. So these are the colors that we're going to use today. This is a soft suede Spanish olive and white. And you're basically going to cut out those triangles it takes a little bit of time to make Skinner Blend, but it is well, well, well worth it. Okay, so basically the whole idea is, and if you have a pasta machine, it is much, much easier to do <clears throat> because you're going to have to fold and run it through your pasta machine probably around 20 times, if not more. So basically you're going to go like this, you're gonna flop it over like that and run it through your pasta machine. Now if you don't have a pasta machine, you can do it by hand. It's gonna take much longer, but you will get it you will get it done. So having said that, I'm gonna speed up the whole process and I'm gonna run it through the pasta machine. Okay, so this is where I am with the Skinner Blend. And at this point, you can continue on and blend it more and more. I'm gonna leave it as is. And by the way, I, you blend it at the highest set, at the lowest setting of your pasta machine. So I was running it under one. And now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run it through the pasta machine this way at the thinnest setting of the pasta machine what we have right now and when you run it at the when you go from the thickest to the thinnest setting you have to do it gradually you don't want to go from number one to number nine you have to kind of gradually go to number two three four and so on and so forth and now what I'm going to do is I'll just grab it and I'm going to accordion it so basically just go and create, just go like this and create an accordion out of it. Oops. I never said I was good at it, right? Some people do it so fast, it's crazy. Not me. Mm -mm. Not me. But you get the gist of it. You just go back and forth. Okay, so there you have it. <clears throat> Our little accordion. So let's cut that off. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Look at that. Look how pretty this is. Okay. 
make sure that they are all stuck together oh we don't want that how did that happen go away yeah all right so we created this really neat brick and you can see here what I did was I had basically I took one of my bricks just like that and I put put it together this way and you see those little indentations that was air so we need to make sure that we don't have any more air spaces And when you're really good at Skinner Blend, you really do not see those lines. It's more flowy. But that's for those folks that are really, really good at it. That's not me. <laughs> okay, so now, let's do this. go let me take a nice thick slice okay so you can see that that's what I used here you see the dark is in the middle and then it goes lighter both directions but what I forgot to do is, I forgot to roll out some white clay, which we're going to put on it. So hang on just one second, let me do it really quick. Alright, so I rolled out some clay on the thinnest setting of the pasta machine, and it's white. I'm going to put it on top of my green, um, green clay, green brown white clay. There you go just like that and now I'm gonna grab my stamp which this one is hmm, I'm gonna have to list it down below but I like this one too and you're gonna face the white down and I like to find a spot that has a lot of variation hmm lots of variation all right so let's go like that and you're just gonna press it press it press it really really hard Good, nice indentation. Now, it is much easier to do it if the clay is cool. So I'm going to throw it in the fridge for literally like three minutes. Hang on. Okay, the clay is good to go. It's cooled off. You know, when you work with it so much, it actually, it just gets so warm. So now we are ready to start scraping it off. And once you do that, you have this beautiful image. And actually, this could be used for a pendant. I really could use that. Oh, look how pretty these are. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I think we should use it for a pendant. Why don't I just... Hmm... Let's see if we can make a little one here with all those little, oh, that's going to look so pretty. Look at that. Oh, yo, yo. That's pretty. Okay, let's see what else I can get. Oops. Oh, I probably have to work on it a little bit. But you're just going to go and you're going to shave it just the parts that are sticking out and you can see that the Skinner brand is popping out from underneath how awesome is that look how pretty it looks 
it really looks great and it really 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 helps when you put it in the fridge for those few minutes unless it's really warm in your <laughs> really cold in your room but usually even when it's cold it's not that that warm in my house right now but even when it's um, cool you know between you touching the clay and it running through the pasta machine it warms up but look at that I really wanted to do Skinner blend underneath the the white and it came out so pretty just give it a nice shape so you're gonna have to give it some love go and go and take your time doing this this is something that you do not want to rush that's for sure it's like with mica shift you're gonna have to put some time into it as I'm collecting all those little pieces because they are so cute I'm gonna have to see if I can do something with them but I'll do it after this pendant is done all right so let me grab paper and just give it a nice squish now if your pendant at this point you think it's too thin you can put it on some scrap clay which is in the same colors that I'm using today so I can do that because this one is pretty thin and I'm just gonna place it down gently and grab my cutter and honestly these are I think cookie cutters I'm pretty sure these are cookie cutters <laughs> uh, and now let's see I want to do it at an angle just the way I did that so that the brown runs kind of diagonally just like that just squeeze it nicely make sure everything is nice and smooth and now it's cutting cutting time oops what is this here got some smudge there it's okay it's all good all right so cutting time so you want to make sure that you have the brown in the middle and then you have the the greens the different shadows of the green looks so pretty and cut all right Let's see what we got here ta-ta look how pretty this looks it really really came out great I really absolutely love it I think I probably could have shaved some more here to get um, to get the, the little the little dots a little bit bigger but that's okay so now guess what I'm throwing it in the oven and I'm gonna get working on this thing to see if I can do something with that well so what do you guys think that wasn't too bad was it I think making the Skinner blend was like the toughest part of the whole thing so I hope you guys enjoyed it till next time my friends ta-ta